Shalom. Call Halaimla, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakan Kadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle is the hand that rules over the world. This is an occult saying, a Masonic saying, and the Spirit of the Lord put this lesson in my mind tonight, and I'm going to show you. When I heard that quote, I looked into it. Check this out. The hand that rocks the cradle the hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that ruled the world. It's a poem written by William Ross Wallace that prays motherhood. Now that motherhood is a secret occult or esoteric meaning. Esoteric means hidden. So that mother represents Sophia, which is wisdom. So the Illuminati or the light bearers, the illuminated ones, they are also known as the Luciferians or the light bearers. So that word mother goes into Sophia, which means wisdom. So right now, they have the beacon of light. They are ruling over the kings of the earth. The daughter of Babylon is. So this is a hidden meaning for Sophia or wisdom. The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. They're ruling over Jerusalem, not only the Holy Land, but most importantly, the children of Israel. I'm going to show you that. So they have the light, the wisdom, the understanding. So they're ruling over the children of Israel. Why you think it says the hand that rocks the cradle. So Israel, or the daughter of ba the daughter of Zion, is being nourished for a time, being ruled over by the elites. So that cradle represents the children of Israel. And they're being ruled, <coughs> excuse me, they're being ruled over by the global elites, the wisdom that is in T man. Let's get that. Let's go into this cradle. One moment, need a water break. So that word cradle has a hidden meaning behind it. Let's go to Revelations 12, verse 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. So that woman is the daughter of Zion, the children of Israel, that's being nourished under the hand of the wicked. Babylon, America. Let's go to verse. So who is that dragon? That's the global empire 
under the Luciferians, the light bearers, or the illuminated ones, the so-called Illuminati. Let's go to verse 14. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. So we know that dragon or that serpent are the Edomites, their global empire. Let's go to Job 9 and 24. So we're showing you the unseen hand that's ruling over the earth. Whoever controls Israel and the Holy Land, but most importantly, the children of Israel rule over the world. And the elites know this. <coughs> Let's go to Job 9, verse 24. Let's go into that hand that rocks the cradle. What cradle? The children of Israel. Let's go to Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So this is the hand that rocks the cradle. Let's take our time with this. This is a Masonic occult phrase. Let's read it again. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Let's go back to this saying by a mason. Now, I did not know this guy was a mason. I had to look up the poem. Let's read it again about that hand that's ruling over the children of Israel that rocks the cradle. Let's read it again. The hand, the what? The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. So the global elites understand in order to rule the world, you must possess control over the children of Israel. Let's go back to Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So this is the unseen hand, the illuminated ones, the light bearers, the Luciferians ruling over the children of Israel that's being nourished in the daughter of Babylon and essentially the dragon, a global empire. Let's go back to that. Revelations 12, verse 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. So Yahawashai came out of Judah, out of Israel, out of Jacob. And the birth of the nation of Israel is being brought forth. So this global empire given into the hands of the wicked is also going to persecute Jacob. Jacob's trouble. Verse 14. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness unto her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. So that serpent is Esau Edom, the global elites. 
So I had to look up the author of this phrase. And guess what I found out? He's a Mason. Let's get it. Here's the poem. The hand that rocks the cradle. That hand is the serpent. The global elites. The great red dragon. Esau. And the cradle represents the children of Israel. That's being nourished under the hand of the wicked that are in rulership right now, ruling over the resources of the earth, occupying possession of the lands of the earth and ruling over the apple of the Lord's eye, the children of Israel. See, blessing on the hand of a woman. That means wisdom, Sophia. Power made with beauty. That's why in Ezekiel chapter 28, thy wisdom and thy beauty have perverted thee. So this is talking about Esau, Edom's being the light bearers or the rulers, the illuminated ones of the earth. Let's see if I can find that. Ezekiel 28. See, verse 2, son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and thy understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasure. Not only do they have the wealth and riches and resources of the earth, but they have the children of Israel. That's the treasure of the Lord, his elect of the house of Israel. And we're going to prove it. Let's go to verse five. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic, hast thou increased thy riches and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches. So they have the riches of the earth but they also have the children of Israel. So that beauty that they possess is Sophia, wisdom. Let's go to verse 17. Thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. Let's go back to the poem. See, power may with beauty flow. Woman, how divine your mission here upon our natal side. So well, they are ruling over the world through wisdom, being the light of the world and ruling over the children of Israel, his treasure. Let's go back to verse 17. No, oh, let's go back to that treasure. Verse four, with thy wisdom and with thy understanding, Thou hast gotten the riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. So this is not only talking about the riches and the natural resources of the earth. Let's see who else that riches relate to. 
Let's go to Joel 3. What's a dual meaning here? Joel 3. Verse 5. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. What is the Lord's treasure? Let's keep reading. Verse Verse 6, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. See that? So the Lord's treasure represents the children of Israel. That's the cradle that the global elite's hand controls or rocks, or nourishes. Let's read it again. Joel 3, verse 5. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where the ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. Where you think we get the saying, don't rock the cradle. So they are rocking or controlling the Lord's treasure, the children of Israel. Let's go back to that saying. The hand that rocks the cradle. The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. The light bearers, the illuminated ones, the global elites. Ezekiel 27, excuse me, Ezekiel 28, verse 4. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, Thou hast gotten the riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasure. Let's go back to say Joel again, 3. Say unto the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord, Joel God, 3. because thine heart One is moment. lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas. So that treasure is the apple of his eye, the children of Israel. Joel 3 and 5, because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. So they are controlling the children of Israel, ruling over the world as well, the earth's resources. Ezekiel 28, verse 17. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. So that wisdom is going to be taken away from Timan. Is uh, from Timan. Edom. So that wisdom has corrupted them. That's Sophia. Beauty. Wisdom. Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah 49. Verse 6. Verse 7. So this is Sophia. Wisdom. So they have both. They are the light bearers or the illuminated ones, the Illuminati, they control the children of Israel, the gold and silver of the Lord, his goodly pleasant things. They are ruling over the world, which starts with the world of Israel. Let's go into that Sophia. Jeremiah 49, verse 7, concerning Edom, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, 
is wisdom. No more empty man is cancel perish from the prudent. Is their wisdom vanish? That's the poem or what the poem is talking about here. And I'm going to show you this man is a mason. The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. A poem by William Ross Wallace praising motherhood. So we know that motherhood, the hidden meaning is Sophia, wisdom. Now watch this. Look at this at the bottom of the poem. A Masonic journal. I knew it. So I had to research William Ross Wallace. This man is a Mason. And usually when they reach a the highest level is a 33rd degree Mason. And I'm willing to bet you that this man is a 33rd degree Mason. So look at the top. He's talking about that wisdom which equates to power. See? Power may with beauty flow. Sunshine stream or darkness hurled. So they are the light bearers or the so-called light of the world. Matter of fact, let's prove that further. Where is it at? I think it's Job 18. No, it's in 20. Right here. Job 20. Nope, it's got to be back in here. It's right here. Goodness. See, so the illuminated ones or the Illuminati right here. Job 18, verse 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire shall not shine. That's the light bearers, the Illuminati or the illuminated ones. They have Sophia, wisdom, and they're ruling over the children of Israel, the treasure of the Lord. Job 18, verse 6, the light shall be dark in his tabernacle and his candle shall be put out with him. So this is a Masonic journal of a 33rd degree Mason. See this? Sunshine, stream, or darkness hurled. So this is an esoteric poem. Esoteric means hidden from the public. Look at this. A Masonic journal, 1898. By this guy, William Ross Wallace. So they understand the keys or the secrets behind rulership. Why you think they named that area Florida Keys? So they have the keys to dominion and rulership right now. The kingdom of rulership. That's why 2 Nezra 6, verse 9 says what? Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So they have the keys to the kingdom right now. This is their heaven, their rulership, or their heaven. See? So they have to nourish the children of Israel or the daughter of Zion, the Lord's treasure, his gold and silver. Let's go to Genesis 27, 
Verse 29. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Curse be everyone that cursed thee and blessed be he that blesseth thee. This is why they are controlling or rocking the cradle, nourishing the daughter of Zion. They understand the keys to rulership. They have Sophia, wisdom. Let's read it again. Then we're going to go back to Revelation 12, verse 14. Genesis 27, verse 29. Let people serve thee, thee who? Jacob, the Israelites, the children of Israel, the daughter of Zion, Jacob. Genesis 27, verse 29. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Curse be every one that curseth thee and blessed be he that blesseth thee. So the children of Israel were nourished under the hand that rocks the cradle. The dragon under a global empire of the Edomites, primarily America. The captive daughter of Zion dwells there. So we're being nourished under the hand that rocks the cradle. The hand that rocks the cradle rules over the world. And that starts with control over the children of Israel. Revelations 12, verse 14. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. That's who's rocking the cradle. The global, international, wicked elite. That's why we went to Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's the hand that rocks the cradle of the children of Israel. Revelations 12, verse 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted a woman which brought forth the man-child. So they are rocking the cradle. This is a Masonic quote here. The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. Written by a 33rd degree Mason, William Ross Wallace. The Unseen Hand. Look up that book, Unseen Hand, by Ralph Epperson. This man wound up dead. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. So whoever nourishes or bless Jacob, the children of Israel, controls or rules over the world. And also those that possess wisdom. See, let's go to Tobit 13, verse 12. The book of Tobit, chapter 13, verse 12. Curse are all they which hate thee. <coughs> Curse are all they which hate thee. And bless shall all be which love thee forever. Rejoice and be glad for the children of the just. For they shall be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the just. O oh, blessed are they which love thee, for they shall rejoice in thy peace. Blessed are they which have been sorrowful for all thy scourges, for they shall rejoice for thee when they shall have seen all thy glory 
and shall be glad forever. So the problem is the children of Israel are waking up. So now the dragon or the great red dragon, the Edomites, the adversary or human adversary, the serpent, is trying to persecute the children of Israel that are waking up in the cradle of the daughter of Babylon, the wilderness or the land of our servitudes, the lands of our uh, captivities. See that? So now the dragon is persecuting the woman, the captive daughter of Zion or the children of Israel. So the global elites possess the occult or esoteric hidden knowledge. You must rule over and control the Lord's treasure, the children of Israel. You must control Jerusalem. And we are a people first. The Holy Land is secondary to controlling the physical people the children of Israel, the children of the Lord, his gold and his silver. So we are a people first. Let's close out with that one. Second Maccabees 5 verse 19. So you must control the cradle, the hand that rocks the cradle or that nourish over Jacob the children of Israel, the captive daughter of Zion. Let's go to 2 Maccabees 5, verse 19. Nevertheless, the Most High did not choose the people for the place's sake, but the place for the people's sake. That's the cradle or the children of Israel. Hence, the hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. A people first, followed by the Holy Land. That's the earth being given to the hands of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. What wicked? These devils, the Edomites, the global international elite, the global world enterprise, the great red dragon, the Edomites, or the human adversary, the serpent. And I had to research this man's background. He is a Mason, and more than likely a 33rd degree Mason. Let's get this last one, one more. So the great red dragon is going to persecute the captive daughter or the children of Israel because they're losing their rulership, their wisdom, their beauty, their light, which rep represents their knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and ability to rule. Jeremiah 49, verse 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in Timon, is counsel perish from the prudent, is their wisdom vanish? That's Sophia, wisdom. So right now they have the recipe or the keys to the kingdom of dominion. Why you think they named that resort King's Dominion? The hand that rots or controls the cradle are the Edomites, the great red dragon, or human adversary, the serpent. So hopefully I didn't make this muddy waters because I feel like I was all over the place. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. 
See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules over the world. And Job 9 and 24 says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. The Edomites, Kwame Sharala, and Abad Babal. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Barakatham, Shalom.